Which conspiracy theories are true? That's what we're about to find out, starting out with Flat Earth. Kyrie Irving said the Earth is flat, and he's an athlete. When has an athlete ever been wrong about science, huh? I mean, sure, he could just pay a pilot 10 grand to fly him to the ice wall and prove all the haters wrong, but why bother? Round Earthers are just gonna call it Photoshop. And he's not the only celeb on the Flat Earth train. Millie Bobby Brown, star of Stranger Things, and future overdose victim, made a TikTok a few years back also claiming the Earth was flat. Guys, there are so many facts that it's flat. Both celebs have received a lot of pushback, with people calling them stupid, idiot, f moron. And both of them have said they no longer believe that. Or more likely, their publicist told them to say they no longer believe that. Uh, but you're missing the point. More people are waking up to the fact that the Earth isn't an oblate spheroid. <laughs> I mean, how fake does that sound? Next up, lizard people. I used to think the idea of lizard people was stupid, until I saw this picture. Now I don't know what to believe. I mean, I knew Mark was weird, but I thought that was because he spent most of his time in college writing code instead of smashing. I mean, look at this face and tell me he's not hiding something. Other than a desire to rip apart the social fabric of society with short-term dopamine-driven feedback loops contributing to misinformation and lack of civil discourse. Next up, 5G. Did 5G cause the Rona? Probably. Now, granted, I don't know how 4G works, or 3G, or my Wi-Fi router, but I know 5G is up to no good. I mean, look at this picture. Why is someone wearing a hazmat suit if 5G is quote-unquote safe? Or is that even a radiation suit? What if it's a bee suit, huh? All this talk about bee populations declining when really, they're just waiting to set them loose. That's why I coated my entire house with honey, make them think I'm one of them so they leave me alone. And actually, ever since I did that, uh, everyone kind of leaves me alone. Next up, 9-11. 9-11 was obviously an inside job. You're going to tell me that a plane carrying jet fuel going 465 miles an hour is going to affect the structural integrity of a building? <laughs> you think I'm stupid? I mean, why do you think George Bush was out of school when he heard the news? Because he needed an alibi. Couldn't have been little old me killing Americans for oil money. I'm just over here at a school hanging out with some kids. You know why he was reading children's books? Because you need to be a child to believe his lies. Next up, election was stolen. I mean, it's as clear as day. Liberals or snowflakes will point towards the 63 court cases Trump lost, multiple ballot recounts, and news articles listing all the times Trump lied, but those are liberal hoax. You're gonna tell me this guy is a liar? Like you'll go person, woman, man, camera, TV. Yeah. Nice try, fake news media. No. It was an orchestrated conspiracy where social justice warriors relabeled the conservative ballots as gender, then changed them. I mean, think about it, people. You're going to tell me Biden won Virginia? Virginia? The state with the largest Confederate statue turned blue? Uh, the only blue thing in Virginia is my balls from not f***ing winning. Next up, vaccines have microchips. This one I'm not too familiar with. Here, let me just Google it on my cell phone real quick. <sighs> yes, you can use my location. Okay, well, the liberal media is saying you should trust doctors and epidemiologists that went to school for seven plus years, but I mean, that's obviously bullshit. They all work for Big Pharma, who's just trying to maximize profits. And if you're in a profit off something, you can't be trusted. That's why I get all my science from Facebook memes. Like this one. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me just, let me just close this advertisement. Okay, okay, there. Undeniable proof. Oh, damn it, these freaking pop-up ads. Okay, there. Undeniable proof. Next up, alien abductions. Thousands of people have been abducted by aliens, and we need to do something about it. They're coming over here, trying to take our culture, and that's why we need to build a f***ing wall to keep up these goddamn- wait a minute, I think I misread this. Uh, it says extraterrestrial aliens? <laughs> oh, that's f***ing stupid. You think baby Yoda is traveling across galaxies just to finger bang your poop shoot? Seems unlikely. Next up, UFOs. UFOs, on the other hand, make total sense. Whenever I see an unidentified flying object, my immediate reaction is, I don't know what that is, therefore it must be aliens from another galaxy. No other possible explanation. And sure, I've been wrong a few times, mistaking it for clouds, Venus, Bezos dick rocket, but like, every other time, it was aliens. Except for when it was searched Slice weather balloons, military aircraft, drones, meteors, and that little squiggly thing you see in your eye when you stare at a bright light. Almost every other time, it was definitely aliens. Next up, we live in a simulation. Can anyone prove we don't live in a simulation? Well, just like Drake staying away from kids, it's impossible. Video games are getting more and more realistic. Pretty soon, they're going to be indistinguishable from reality. And we've only done that in 50 years. Imagine what games will look like in 500 or 1,000 years. What's to say we couldn't create an entire reality in a game? I just hope the graphics are better than Minecraft. Uh, what, what is that? Is that dirt? Is is that sand? Uh, terracotta? Are you serious? Next up, the moon landing was faked. So you're telling me they built a rocket, escaped out of Earth's atmosphere, and was able to land on a moving celestial body in the sky in 1969, yet they were too stupid to put wheels on luggage? Yeah. Okay. You gotta respect NASA, though. An estimated 400,000 people worked on the moon landing. Pretty impressive that that many people could keep a lie. Normally, you put three people in a room and one of them is blabbing. This is not even to mention all the people around the world that had telescopes that are like, hmm, I should probably keep this to myself. Next up, the Illuminati. Illuminati is a secret society that's trying to develop a new world order. 
Uh, wait a minute, that just kind of sounds like corporations. What else is there? Uh, controlling world affairs, plenty of people in government to gain political power. Yeah, that's just what a corporation does. They hire lobbyists to bribe politicians or fund their re-election campaign in order to get laws that benefit them. According to goldenhouse.gov, over 400 former members of Congress are working as lobbyists. Yeah, so this is less of a conspiracy theory and more of a rebranding of what actually is happening. And lastly, Epstein killed himself. So just to recap the events happening prior to his death, they put him in a cell alone, guards fell asleep, forged check-ins, and oh, surprise, surprise, the cameras didn't work. Coincidence? I think not. If this was a regular prisoner, then yeah, probably, but this guy was accused of running a pedo ring for the world's richest and most powerful people. Total shocker, he ends up dead. But who did it? The Clintons? Bill Gates? Trump? 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 I guess we'll never Trump. So there you have it, all the conspiracy theories that are definitely, most likely, maybe, po possibly true. Anyway, which conspiracy theories do you guys believe in? Please, let me know down in the comments, and I'll make sure to like them. I mean, I mean, not not as much as Kanye loves Hitler, but but I'll, I'll like them. I'll, I'll, I'll like them. Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.